Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Milton Tutorials and Toolpath. In the previous video, we learned about that how we can create a POCO operations. POCO means how we can transform our part from the left spindle to the right spindle. What are the major issues that time we can face and what was the solutions for that. And now in this video, we will create a toolpath for our right hand spindle and in this video we will create a proper turning tool path for the right hand spindle and after that we will create one more video where we will create a milling tool path for the right hand spindle so let we have to start this one video and in when we creating a right hand to spindle tool path so what are the major issue that time we face and what are the important thing that we have to remind so let we have to start to create this one video so once all my POCO operations are getting to be completed and after that I just I am right at here and I can create the new tool path for the right hand spindle. Now I am at the right hand spindle and in this video I create a roughing tool path, the finishing tool path and the finishing tool path. So a uh, first tool path that is facing which I created with the help of upper stream and after that I create a roughing tool path with the help of lower stream or I can say lower turret and after that I create a finishing tool path which I created with the help of upper stream. So first tool path I have to start to create on a facing operation that should be same like as we are creating on the left spindle. I have to just click on a face. I have to select a tool and just say tool angle. Once I am right at here in a tool angle in a when we are creating this tool path for the left hand spindle what we are doing we are just adding the value is 90 degree or angle. In May, what's mean? This tool path is in this position. The tool is going to be like with this. That time, my insert direction should be this one direction, left hand side. But when we have to cut my tool workpiece on the right hand spindle, so that condition we have to make sure our insert direction should be in the right hand side. So for that one purpose, we have to define our tool. We have to rotate our tool and the rotation of that angle should be 180 degree because in a previous when we are using on left hand side so my insert angle is or insert direction in left so once we rotate our tool in 180 degree that time my tool angle is going to be rotation and that should be in right hand side the first step that we have to do this one as you can see here in B angle is 90 degree and A angle is 180 degree. If I just define both of these and just say OK. So at that time is still getting to be a challenge. What is the reason of this issue? That issue is due to because now still we are using this tool path on a left hand spindle with the help of upper stream. But in this condition, we the condition is that we have to use this tool path for the upper stream and the right hand spindle so we have to define this one and just say ok once I just say ok all these parameters should be same as the previous all the facing parameters should be same as previous and just say ok so as you can see here this is my facing tool path and tool is came from the upper side but it is as you can see here that time it is still stock is available approx 1 mm what is the reason behind that when we are performing a Milton operations so that time the stock that is we left or that tool path automatically left the stock is 1 mm we have to make sure this 0 and just say ok once I just say ok so as you can see this time this is my first tool path and after that we just completed successfully second tool path once I created a facing tool path if required to defining a reference position we have to, can go in a reference and just we can define my reference position and just say okay so as you can see here this is my face first right hand spindle tool path the facing tool path and after that i create a tool path for the right hand spindle with the help of lower stream the lower stream tool path that we are performing the roughing tool path we have to just click on a rough just start from this from this position to this position just click select a proper tool uh, we have to click a roughing tool path 
UG stock from outer boundary and just say OK. So as you can see here, once I just define this parameter, my roughing toolpath is going to be start. That toolpath is came from the lower side and we can say lower stream. Again, if we want to make some changes, we have to came in a parameter. And at here, if we want to define the reference position, we have to click on this. Define a reference position, change this direction. OK and OK. Now have a look. All set perfect without any issue, without an error. All these things are going to be set perfect. After the next toolpath, I have to perform the finishing toolpath and this finishing toolpath I have to plan to perform with the help of upper stream. Now have a look. We have to clicking a toolpath from the upper stream. So we have to click again on a finish. Start my toolpath from this position to this position. Just say OK. Once I just say OK, I have to select the tool. Once I select a tool, I have to came on a finishing. Before I have to came in a finishing, I have to came in a tool angle. At this position, I have to define the angle. And after that, the rotation value, just say OK. I can also define the reference position. And just say OK. So as you can see, here, this is my roughing, this is my finishing. So all these toolpath I just completed successfully. And once I completed all these toolpath for the turning on our right hand spindle, after that I have to simulate and I have to synchronization this toolpath with the, all the previous toolpath. So what we have to do and what is the step for this one? Let we have to select all these toolpath and just say G1. Once I press on a G1, so what is what will happen? Again, my master cam window is going to be open simulation ways or a simulation window. And once this is my simulation page or simulation window. On this one position, I have to make my all the toolpath in a synchronization. For that one, I have to click on this and expand all operations. Once I click on expand all operations. So after that, this is my lathe point toolpath. Turret. Once this is my final toolpath or a final synchronization. And it means once my all the upper stream toolpath is getting completed, after that my lower turret is going to be synchronized or on, on a park position. Once my park position is getting completed, after that I have to say that my facing operation have to be start to perform. So this is my facing operation. Once my facing operation getting to be completed, I have to say my roughing toolpath have to be start to work with the help of a lower stream. Once my uh, roughing toolpath is start to work, after that I have to say my finishing toolpath have to start to perform. So this is my finishing toolpath. So as you can see here, this is the basic concept of synchronization where we have to define what have to start, what have to be finished. Once it is getting to be finished, it is going to be start. Start, finish, finish, start. So that is the sequence of operations that we have to define in a synchronization. That's so easy. You have to keep in mind all the operations, all the sequence, and that same thing you have to define right at here. Once I define all these things, I have to click on a launch. Once I click on a launch, so now have a look. This is my machine in a proper way. And I just have to play this toolpath. This is my facing toolpath. This is my roughing toolpath. This is my finishing toolpath. Grooving. C axis. C axis drill. Y axis. Now angle, all these things are the previous part of point and after that it's going to be performed on a POCO. Cutting my part and came right hand spindle on my initial position.
once my right hand spindle came to the initial position after that we can start to perform tool path for the right hand spindle now have a look this is first operation is my with the help of upper stream so my first of tool path is came like as a facing tool path this is my facing operation once facing operation is successfully done here is my roughing tool is came on my position this is my roughing operation once my roughing operation successfully completed so after that my finishing tool path finishing tool path is going to be in action and this is my another one and I can say last and final the finishing tool path now have a look this is my finishing tool that is successfully cutting this one area and now that's my finishing tool path all set perfect all successfully done without any issue without any error so i hope you will get an idea that how we can perform all this tool path so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you get idea about how we can create the turning tool path on my right hand spindle and after the next video we will perform the finishing tool path on my right hand spindle so see you in the next video keep learning keep enjoying